Life opens up opportunities to you, and you either take them or you stay afraid of taking them. It is better to risk starving to death than surrender. If you give up on your dreams, what's left? Creative people don't behave very well generally. If you're looking for examples of good relationships in show business, you're gonna be depressed real fast. I don't have time for anything else right now but work and my daughter. She's my first priority. That's the trouble with being me. At this point, nobody gives a damn what my problem is. I could literally have a tumor on the side of my head and they'd be like, yeah, big deal. I'd eat a tumor every morning for the kind of money you're pulling down. Maybe other people will try to limit me but I don't limit myself. I tend to stay up late, not because I'm partying but because it's the only time of the day when I'm alone and don't have to be performing. People need motivation to do anything. I don't think human beings learn anything without desperation. My focus is to forget the pain of life. Forget the pain, mock the pain, reduce it. And laugh. I got a lot of support from my parents. That's the one thing I always appreciated. They didn't tell me I was being stupid, they told me I was being funny. I practiced making faces in the mirror and it would drive my mother crazy. She used to scare me by saying that I was going to see the devil if I kept looking in the mirror. That fascinated me even more, of course. Life is an ordeal, albeit an exciting one, but I wouldn't trade it for the good old days of poverty and obscurity. I don't think human beings learn anything without desperation. Desperation is a necessary ingredient to learning anything or creating anything. Period. If you ain't desperate at some point, you ain't interesting. If you aren't in the moment, you are either looking forward to uncertainty, or back to pain and regret. I think I could go away tomorrow. I've already accomplished something. It's such a selfish business that sometimes I get sick of myself. I feel like I want to take care of everyone and I also feel this terrible guilt if I am unable to. And I have felt this way ever since all this success started. I need privacy. I would think that because what I do makes a lot of people happy that I might deserve a little bit of respect in return. Instead, the papers try to drag me off my pedestal. If I had never ventured beyond being a stand-up comic, then I would be sitting in my house today working on my Leonardo DiCaprio impression. Before I do anything, I think, well what hasn't been seen? Sometimes, that turns out to be something ghastly and not fit for society. And sometimes that inspiration becomes something that's really worthwhile. I really believe in the philosophy that you create your own universe. I'm just trying to create a good one for myself. Ever since I started to get recognition I've picked out certain fans and reverse stalked them. I used to be a guy who was experiencing the universe, but now I feel like the universe experiencing a guy. I really want to love somebody. I do. I just don't know if it's possible forever and ever. I've arrived at the place if I'm not taking a career risk, I'm not happy. If I'm scared, then I know I'm being challenged. We had problems like all families but we had a lot of love. I was extremely loved. We always felt we had each other. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which, was that you can fail at what you don't want so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. I'm making a conscious choice to see challenges as beneficial so that I can deal with them in the most productive way. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire, faith leaps over it. 
If you've got a talent, protect it. Don't worry folks as long as the sun is revolving around the earth, we'll be fine. I wish you all freedom from past regrets, fear of the future and the illusion of time itself. Don't wait for a countdown. I feel that we're all lighthouses, and my job is to shine my light as brightly as I can to the darkness. I think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dreamed of so they can see that it's not the answer. People need the motivation to do anything. I don't think human beings learn anything without desperation. No doubt, there are reasons for your worries, no one could dispute, but that doesn't make them any less useless. It's okay to let them go. My soul is not contained within the limits of my body. And my body is contained within the limitlessness of my soul. All that you see and all that you don't see, is you. Feel that and be free. There are no two things. There is a huge difference between a dog that is going to eat you in your mind and an actual dog that's going to eat you. I used to spend a lot of time burning with anxiety. That happens when you imagine that you're less than infinite. Never let your mind and your ego fill you with the fear of failure and turn you against your playful heart. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't regret missing life-changing advice and quotes.